Hello guys, I wanted to show you something. So here we have this carbon slash coal slash carbon black slash whatever you want to call it from pyrolysis. Um, and I just took it and I sifted it through a, a not a fine mesh, but just a mesh so it's nice and even consistent texture, blah, blah, blah. So we can see that we have obviously a lot of carbon, but there's also some other minerals in there, inorganic materials. So it's not pure by any means, but whatever. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys the metal recovery from pyrolysis. So right here, I have a neodymium magnet just on a little plastic cupboard top or whatever. So that way it doesn't stick to the magnet, it sticks to this. So watch, I will just graze this over on the surface, just lightly, you know, nothing crazy. And look at that. Look at that. Of course, it's not going to be pure iron or nothing. So quite a bit of coal in there. But as you can see, there's definitely iron in there. Um, and I have a container over here where I've been collecting it. And what I do is I just do like two-stage filtration. I'll collect it over there, shake it, and I'll drop it off here. And then I will, you know, just agitate this around. Try to get as much of the carbon out as possible. And then just do like this. So that way, like, well, most of it is iron. And as you can see at that point, most of it is iron. I just drop it off in here. And as we can see in here, uh, if I put this magnet on here, as we can see... It's definitely ferrous material there. You can see there is some bit that's not ferrous. Let me see if I can drop it out. But actually, you know what's ironic? I guess this magnet isn't all that powerful because a lot of this will also have iron in it too. Despite it just not sticking just a second ago, as we can see, look at that. See that? So yeah, there's metal in this, man. Um, and of course, this is, you know, a lot of plastic and stuff, right? And also I do put, sometimes I put a, an iron oxide catalyst in there as well, but you know, I will say, I only put a carbon oxide catalyst, uh, iron oxide catalyst in there every now and then. I don't do it, like, every single run. But every single remain of carbon I, I go over always has iron in it to some degree. Now, it's not a crazy amount, but the point is, it's there. And, you know, it adds up over time. You know, eventually, after so many pounds of plastic, whatever, you're going to have enough iron to make a car. <laughs> you know, I know it sounds crazy, but that's just the truth of the matter. There's other, and there's tons of other minerals, too. Um, that I don't know how to separate. Like, you know, I'm sure there's copper in there, zinc, mercury, all types of, you know, useful metals. But I just know the best way how to separate iron, and that is with a magnet. And you see, when I agitate this stuff around here even more, um, then it just makes it even better to get this. You can hear that. The magnet. And you see, we got some... I guess I'm over there. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought that was pretty cool. How, you know, like, this is metal recovery right here. And, you know, let alone things like gold. I know there's gold in here. I know there's all those. Because I've, you know, put some computer parts in here. Unironically, like, some circuit boards before. Like, just a couple. Nothing crazy. I do want to do a whole episode on, like, circuit boards where I just pyrolysize a whole bunch of them, right? But, you know... Yeah, like, I think that's really cool that we can get iron from this. Um, and, yeah, you can see the iron is, you know, it's, it's, it's iron oxide pretty much. I think it's iron oxide, yeah. I mean, well, honestly, I don't know because if I think about it, if it is iron oxide, would the oxygen react in the reactor and then get out of the oxygen, out of the iron? But at the same time, if it was just pure iron, it would it be black? But at the same time, it might just be black because there's all this carbon that's coating it. So I don't really know. You can answer that question. Um, but I just think it's pretty cool that we can do this. And um, yeah, like you see over here, this is like a whole bucket I have of this stuff. And watch, same thing, right? I just graze this over the surface turn it over look at that all that iron so that's all i want to show you guys a uh, new episode coming out probably this weekend so stay tuned see you guys later peace out we got a discord server it's now public the pyrolysis tribe please go ahead and join we're gonna form a strong community with amazing ideas and we are gonna get this stuff done it's a link in the description Thank you very much. Peace out.